this is Troy, KF7SEY, and today I'm going to show you how to sync your time for FT8 or JS8 call without a GPS. So I wanted to eliminate uh, not having to use a hook a GPS up to my Raspberry Pi or a laptop, uh, just one, one less thing to have connected to my computer. And so I was searching the internet looking for a solution and I came across this. KK5JY Matt came up with this uh, simple software that allows you to sync your time based on what you see others on FT8. So what you want to do is go to this website, I'll put a link in the description below, and download uh, the software here. And it works for Linux. It says it works for Windows. I don't know how to uh, um, build from source for Windows, but uh, if you read through that and you know how to do it, great, more power to you. Uh, but today I'm going to show you uh, how to do it with Linux. So once you've downloaded it, extract it, and real simple it doesn't take long to build from source and done so to run it uh, all you type in is C tweak time it'll come up with this little setup where you use the little uh, keys for left and right and then you can change the step amount so we'll start up uh, WSJTX and my clock is synced right now because it's hooked up to the internet but what I'll do is I'll move the clock off so you can we can see the uh, time so what you do is you just watch the time right here where when it comes up with the DT time here and as it decodes signals you'll see here so you can see that um, I'm fairly synced with time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to start, you got to run sudo ctweak time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the time off so you can see it, uh, next time it decodes you'll see it come up that my time is off. There you go, now you can see the time's off. Uh, from when I adjusted it. So to go back, you know, I can try to tune this in a little bit. You just do a little bit at a time until you get the clock uh, set to closest to zero as you can. And there we go. You can see I'm getting closer to zero. So that's it. Uh, it's a works really well. Uh, I think it's great for a portable operations. Now just that's the thing. This is really for uh, portable operations. If everybody did this uh, we would have a hard time syncing our time. Uh, so you're really relying on the stations that are hooked to the internet and which majority of your stations are that you're working for working. So, so give it a try. Um, hope this helps out. 73. Thanks for watching.